The water's cold. It's a fjord. You're not going swimming. Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call Edward. me- Edward. Edward Charles Harden, Esquire. Will you promise to behave on land? Don't I always? Lissy, promise. Oh, piffle and phonus balonus, Teddy. You ought to know better than to ask. Yes, I'll behave. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or climb things or laugh too loud or call anyone old lady. Aside from you. So, do you think we'll find your Betty in... Uh, what did you call this village? Gravewick? 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 It's an odd language. I don't much care for it. Perhaps Betty found herself a burly Viking warrior and went native. Put horns on her hat. Drinks mead out of a chalice. Eats goat meat off the bone. She's <clears> there. How can you know for sure? She's my sister. But how can you know? I just do. In her letter, she wrote about... But that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Without writing or telegraphing her editor in New York, she wouldn't do that. Betty's... Oh, the cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, little Miss Perfect. Alice, you're talking about my sister. Fine. I'm sorry. Elizabeth Sadarb. We all love her dearly. And Teddy Bear. Edward. We will find her. Betty's fine. Why, we'll see her as soon as we get to shore. She'll shower you with kisses and berate you for coming all this way from Hanover, Massachusetts to the middle of absolutely nowhere Scandinavia way just to chase her down. Everything will be Jake, old fruit. <sighs> Is that it? Is that Groove Woke? It looks so peaceful. And beautiful. And so desolate. Like a place built for ghosts. Finally. I don't think I could do this for much longer. Can't you row any faster? I'm getting frightfully bored. How about you take over, Alice? <laughs> you slay me, Teddy, old bean. Was that thunder? Still distant. The boat will be in safe harbor by the time the weather arrives. So you say. But I say put your back into it, because we're sitting ducks out here. Quack, quack. <laughs> it's so quiet. Where is everyone? Probably working. I know it's a foreign concept to you, but that's something normal people do. Hardy har har. The Fretland farm is up the hill somewhere. Up where? I believe it's that farmhouse. All the way at the top. Hot dog! Let's ankle! Hold on. Let me read the letter from Mrs. Fretland first. I'll meet you up there, old sport. I want to explore. Last one's a skunk's tail. Wait. The ground's muddy. It's easy to slip and fall. Walk slowly and watch out for... Where are you going? All right. <laughs> Edward, I'm talking to you. Uh, don't be a wet blanket. A little mud never hurt anyone. Fine. Just stay close. As long as you keep up with me. Uh. Dear Mr. Harton, we would like to extend an invitation to visit our home. Uh, trouble to hear of your sister's disappearance. No news to share. You'll find our farm on top of the hill. I hope I got that right. Look forward to seeing you here in October. Yours faithfully, Anna Fretland. Well, I'm here. Where are you? Did you make it to Grovik, Betty? And why did you pick this forlorn hole under the mountains? Also sprach Zarathustra. Teddy, are you coming? I'm almost there! 
On my way. Righto. Step to it, teddy bear. Lissy. I'm up at the farm. Just taking a break. What took you so long? I'm not 17. Nor are you 70. Put some spring into your step, old sport. Did you see the flag? It's at half-mast. Someone died. So this is it, huh? Nice digs. But seriously, where is everyone? Perhaps everyone's indoors. The rain's picking up. You first, old bean. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? Mrs. Fretland? This is Edward Charles Harden, the American. We've exchanged letters. Maybe they went on holiday and left the door open. Give it a shake and a rattle. I can't just barge into their home. It's not a crime if you're invited. I'm coming in. This is a... This is Mr. Harden. Hello? Is anyone home? <clears throat> this is the kitchen. Hello? Anyone there? Well, as I was saying, this house is as empty as a bird's nest in December. Hey, you want to... Uh, oh, this is nice. Charmingly rustic. The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. I thought foreigners lived differently. This is all- The books are all in English. Isn't that a bit odd? Mrs. Frontland is Scottish, though she grew up in Olmson. Have you been secretly communicating with Johann's winsome wife, Edward Dearest? Certainly not. She was the one who wrote me, because Mr. Frontland's English isn't as- I was only joking. Lighten up, old sport. Don't be such a pill. Look, family pictures. They must be the, uh, what did you call them? The Fretlands. Right. 
Anna and... John? Johan. This is honestly not what I'd pictured. They're very presentable. Not at all like turnip farmers. They're not turnip farmers. That must be Johan Fretland, master of the house. What makes you think he's the master of anything? It's 1923, Teddy old boy. Women can vote. Dear Mrs. Fretland, I trust this letter finds you and your husband in good health. I wrote to inform them about when I'd be home feels very far away. Are we feeling melancholy again? I've never been this far from Hanover. It's about time we got you out of that dreary old house, Teddy Bear. I asked about Elizabeth. And they hadn't seen her? Anna... Mrs. Fretland promised she'd write if she heard anything. There wouldn't be many female reporters from New York and Western Norway. Why would she come here in the first place? Betty always has her reasons. Oh, the thought of boarding that infernal ocean liner again. I quite enjoyed it. So much room for exploration and mischief. So many opportunities for seasickness and claustrophobia. Ah, uh, don't be a Debbie Downer. I'm sure your tummy will be better behaved on the return voyage. And you'll be craving enclosed spaces after a week in this wide-open wilderness. Where do you think they've gone? The Fretlands. The Fretlands, the Hansons, the Jensons, all of them. I'm sure they'll be back soon. It's like a dead land. As though its soul has departed. There's the stave church. Do you think that's where they've all gone? Maybe there's a very popular funeral. The flag was at half-mast, but... No sign of life out there. Did you hear something? No. Huh. Must be the wind under the door. Or the churning sea. Or the interminable <sighs> rain. Or flesh-eating ghouls waiting to pounce. Alice, honestly. Yep. Well, those boys look proud as peacocks. What does it say there? Groovy? Grooven. The mine. Maybe that's where everyone is. Digging for precious jewels in the Stygian Abyss. From what I learned of this place during the brief stay in Olesund, the iron mine shut down 20 years ago. Johan Fretland exits Fretland Brothers Mining Company. So the brothers parted ways? Johan sold his share to focus on farming. Well, that must have put a damper on their relationship. Tragic accident befalls the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. What happened? The mine collapsed, killing three workers, including Arna Fretland, Frederick and Johan's younger brother. That's awful. How old was he? Uh, 19. Operations were suspended after the accident. Foreign investors out of Frederick Fretland's Mining Company. Dire financial consequences for Fretland who must have had a difficult time after his brother Johan Fretland pulled out earlier this year. Johan was smart to exit when he did. The timing is curious, like he knew something was about to go awry. Oof, that's a grim sight, old beam. I'm exhausted. And soak the bone. Let's get you to bed. We'll wait for the Fretlands. It's only Kirk. Betty. Have you gone screwy again, Teddy? That's not Betty. Her That's. Scarf. I'd know it anywhere. It doesn't look like anything to me. It she just bought it looks in like... Bloomingdale's the Christmas before last. When she came home that year, she showed it off, dancing around the sitting room until I got dizzy watching her. I think you're misremembering. She couldn't make it home that year. Again. No, I'm... You're wrong, I'm sure she was there. Uh. Look, it is her scarf. 
It even smells like her perfume. Shalimar. But what if that's not... She's here. I'm finally going to find her. That's... That's great, Edward. Really. I... I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. I mean, where's everyone gone to? Something's not right, I'm telling you. Teddy? Edward, what's wrong? I... Lightheaded, that's all. You're having another spell. You know what happens when you exert yourself. Sit down. That's an order from your... Uh... I just need to... to catch my breath. Just for a moment. I want you to lie down. Lie down and close your eyes. It's been a strenuous day. What with the rowing and the dragging of the suitcase up the hill. Well, what if the fret... I'll keep an eye out. I promise. If they come home, I'll wake you. Now, lie down. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply. I'm just... Fine. Shh. Elizabeth? Is that you? <laughs> Betty? Lissy? Lissy, are you here? Lissy? Hello? Hey, who's there? Betty? Elizabeth! Wait! Lissy, there's someone outside. It might be Betty. Are you here, Lissy? Who's out there? Hello? Betty? Lissy? I'm not alone. I can hear you! Who goes there? Wait! Someone there? Hello? <laughs> Betty, is that you? Are you there, Betty? Are you there? The boat, Edward! Where's our boat? Lissy! What about the boat? It's gone. The boat? What? How? Maybe you didn't secure it properly. I pulled it up. I don't know. I thought I tied it securely, but... Where did you go? Out. For a walk. 
It stopped raining. Did it... you see Betty? Did I see... What are you talking about? I think... Betty... It was Betty. I... It was her. It must have been her. I saw her face in the window, and... And she vanished into the dark, towards the sea. You really didn't see anyone. I haven't seen a single soul. Are you sure it was her? And yes. Not... I... I mean... I saw her face, and... It looked like her. Well, if it was her, why did she run away? Uh, I don't... I don't know. Uh, it's getting dark. Back to the house. And tomorrow... Tomorrow's another day, Teddy Bear. We'll figure it out. Right now, let's get you cleaned up. Look at you. You've got mud all over yourself. And then you really need to sleep. You must be exhausted. Come on. I will find you again. Teddy, come outside. It's a beautiful day. I just about given up on you ever waking up. Sleep well? I dreamed of Betty. She was in the garden, and she called for me. How about you, Lissy dearest? Oh, you know me, old fruit, wide awake at first light. The Fretlands didn't come home, did they? They did not. There's no sign of anyone. Aside from last night's Mistwalker. I've been thinking about that. I. It was dark. Maybe I just saw a shadow. Chasing a shadow? That's very unlike you, old boy. Usually you scurry off in the opposite direction. I didn't get a good look. I'm not even sure there was anyone there. Oh, there must be someone here. And I'm not talking about ghosts. Or goats. What was it you said? Where are you going? Um... What was it you said yesterday? Maybe they're peeking at us through the windows. I'll take a gander. The Fretlands will be home soon. And Betty's here. I know it. I feel it. If you say so, Teddy Bear. Have you had your noodle juice yet? I'm not rummaging through their cupboards. You'll be a pill without your tea and toast, old bean. We need to get you sorted. I'm not hungry. First point on the agenda. Find the natives. A mission! Not dog! I'll scout ahead. I'll meet you down by those houses. Let's uncover your secrets, Gorvik. Here, Teddy. Hey, eyes up here. It's such a beautiful day. You could bottle and sell this air in Boston. It's frankly medicinal.
careful you don't fall. You suck the fun out of everything, old boy. We're far from any doctor. I don't want you to hurt yourself. That's not very likely, is it? I thought you were scouting ahead. What do you think I'm doing? Vantage point. Like on a pirate ship. I can probably see our house in Hanover from here. Did you check those buildings? Knocking on doors isn't a scout's job, old bean. Hello? Anyone here? Why, hello, Mr. American. Please come in for a cup of tea and biscuits. You're not helping. Also, they drink coffee here, not tea. <gasps> Savages. No one home? Anyone home? Unless they're playing hide and go seek, I'd say that's a no. There's one more house. Third time's the charm. Hello? Who? Who's there? Hello? Anyone home? September 21st, 1923. V.R. Desperata. Lissy, found something here. Escalated from words to stones. Blood has been spilled. The curse haunts us all. There is no hope left in... Uh, good Svarlata. Good. God. Right. In this godforsaken place. The death of the... Jiminy. Death of the children was the end of Grovik. Whatever remained of our souls departed with them. You should see this, Lissy. The letter just trails off. It was never sent. Did you see this door closing? It was just the wind, teddy bear. You're as skittish as a pussycat. Three strikes, you're out. I don't think anyone's been home for a while. Someone painted the word traitor on one of the doors. And there was a letter. It sounded foreboding. Well, you were wrong. The villagers are not indoors. Where would Betty go if she was here right now? I'm sure she'd go for soda pop. Do you think they'll have cola at the general store? Uh, doubtful. Boo. Betty likes exploring new places. She'd have done the same here. And she'd have left some trace of where she'd gone. I just need to put myself in her mind. See this place through her eyes. Well, it's a bright and beautiful day. And we have nothing better to do. What on earth are you doing? Handstands, Teddy. My record is two minutes. I'm working on three. Just go on ahead. I'll catch up.
July 24th. Memorial service. A commemoration of the accident at the mine this past summer. No services after that. All these graves. What happened? It's a cemetery. But look at the soil. These are recent burials. You're right. Do you think this is where... where everyone's gone? Are they all... This can't be everyone. Besides, someone had to bury the bodies. Fair point. Well made. Something did happen. Several people died in a short period of time. How? An accident? Um... Why would they board up a church? To keep the ghosts from escaping? Lissy. Or the goats from getting in? What does that say? Uh, God is not here. Well, so much for that. No wedding, no baptism, no funeral. There must be people somewhere. Where are you going? We're constitutional. To breathe some of this salty sea air. <sighs> you go on ahead. I'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> 